Another thing that can make beaches even more dangerous this time of year is that a lot of them are unguarded. So let's bring in someone who can speak to what late season beach goers should do if they want to squeeze that last beach weekend. And it's Wyatt uh, Wernith with the uh, uh, spokesman for the American Life Gold, uh, Lifeguard Association. Wyatt, thanks so much for joining us again tonight. A tragic week uh, there in the Outer Banks, but you could make the argument that this is postseason, right? It's late in the year, and so a lot of the beaches aren't guarded the same way. What should people be looking for if they're heading to the coast this weekend? Well, Mark, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, we can relate. Here in uh, Florida, Cocoa Beach, Brevard County, we've actually had our fifth drowning a week ago. We have uh, rip current rich conditions, which is the onshore tide or onshore wind with the outgoing tide, and people are loving the beach right now, and that is a recipe for disaster. Of course, we always say swim in front of a lifeguard. Your chances are one in 18 million in getting into trouble. However, our fatality here a week ago was in a guarded area during guarded hours, so you never know. You have to be on the lookout, watch your loved ones, and tune into the Weather Channel and make sure you know what the conditions are before you go. Is there something about this time of year? It seems like there's this secondary spike that seems to happen kind of after Labor Day. Have, have you noticed any trends with that uh, through the years? Well, absolutely. As the temperature drops a little bit, not a lot, it gets pleasant. Um, and you want to be in the, on the beach whenever and experiencing that, where before, when it was super hot, it was almost unbearable. So it's getting more tolerable and inviting people to the beach. Again, they have to be careful and look for where the lifeguard stations are and, and sit out in front of the lifeguard station. They will warn you of any conditions. Now, let's say there aren't any guarded stations in your area and you're going to the coastline. Is there anything that you should be looking for with regards to the water to know that it's safe or that it may not be so safe to bring you and your family into the water at that time? Well, that's a great question, Mark. I'm glad you asked that. It's educate yourself. You know, go to the Weather Channel, see what the conditions are, ask the locals where's a good place, a safe place to go, because we have certain areas that are more surfer friendly and the waves are bigger and the rip currents are stronger. So you want to know where to go. And then when you do come to, your, to the beach, you want to make sure that you keep an eye on your family. If the conditions are rough, know your limitations. Do not go out into the water if you're not a strong swimmer at all, up to about your waist. And also swim or bring a flotation device. If someone does get into trouble, in our area here in Bavard County, we've installed a, a rescue device along the beaches where we don't have lifeguards so that a, a citizen can grab that and get it out to the person because the last thing you want to do is go into the water on a rescue and not have any flotation. It seems like a bit of an impossible task, but we also try to stress that if you are caught in a rip to not panic and not try to just swim as hard as you can back into the shore. Can you talk a little bit about what you should do if you do wind up in trouble? Well, you hit it. The number one thing is do not panic. It's just a current that's going to pull you out. It has a, a three-step mechanism. It's a feeder that's going to put you into the neck, and the neck is going to push you out to the head. Once you get out to the head, it's going to release you, and you can swim parallel left or right along the beach and find your way back to a sandbar. Because what it is is there's a little trough in the center and two high points on either side normally. And then you can get to that high point and make your way back to the beach. But if you panic, all that's out the window, and you can't do anything for yourself or anyone else trying to help you. Absolutely. That's why it weren't as always great information. Thanks so much for joining us here on Weather Underground.